this is Mr. Dollins, back for another season of Colton Screencasts. It's been a while since we last saw each other, yet the pandemic rages on. Now school is back, and we are all just trying to figure out how we're going to make this school thing work in distance learning. One thing that's super easy to get working is the student reading inventory, popularly known as the SRI. In this video, we're going to look at three things. Number one, what is the SRI and what does it mean? Number two, how are teachers using this information? Number three, how do I take the test? Let's start with what exactly the SRI is. The SRI is a test we use every year to get an understanding of your reading proficiency. The SRI shows your ability to comprehend complex texts for their language use, sentence length, and word frequency. The result is what is called a Lexile score. Your Lexile score simply tells you how complex of a text you can comprehend within 75% accuracy. So, if you find a book, like say, Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe, which has a Lexile measure of 890, that means if you score 890 or above on the SRI, this will be a pretty easy read for you. If you score below 890, depending on how low, Things Fall Apart might be more challenging. However, don't let a Lexile score fool you. If you score a 740 on the SRI, that doesn't mean you can't read Things Fall Apart, it just means that it will be a more demanding task and challenging yourself is always a good thing. Now that we know the basics of the SRI, how will your teacher be using this information? Knowing your Lexile gives your teacher some understanding about what level of difficulty the books you choose for independent reading should be. This information also lets a teacher know how hard a class reading might be for you, which can help direct them in deciding what strategies to use when teaching you. Plus, since you take the SRI two to three times a year, having this information is a good way to see your own improvement. And this brings us to our final question. How do you take the test? This part is really easy. The first step is to log into your ClassLink account. If you need help, check out the Accessing ClassLink video. You can find the link in the video notes. From your ClassLink homepage, click on the Reading Inventory button right here. This will take you into the portal to access the test. Click the blue Reading Inventory button and you're in. Your teacher will give you additional directions about how to ensure test security while you are taking the test. Before we go, it is important to let you know that the SRI is only as useful as you let it be. Try not to rush through it. If you take this test seriously, it will return more accurate results. And if you take it periodically throughout the year, it will help you see just how much your reading ability is improving. So as with all things, do your absolute best. Thank you for joining me for this short video about the SRI. If you like what you're seeing in these screencasts, click the subscribe link to get updated content. I appreciate your feedback and support. If you have suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. In the meantime, this is Mr. Dollins, and thanks for watching Colton Screencasts.